Mike from Epic Duck Studios and this is the Epic Hobby. Today I'll be painting Blue Fire on a Guild Death Marshal from Malifaux. I'm going to start by base coating the flames using a light blue. In this case I'm using Vallejo Game Color Electric Blue, but any light blue paint will work for this. Because we want the fire to look like a source of light, it needs to be brighter than pretty much any other detail on the model. With these flames, it's important to look at them from different angles and make sure you've covered them completely. It can be really easy to miss a spot from a certain angle. I'm being very careful and making sure I don't get any of this paint on the coffin, just getting it on the fire. Here I'm just circling back and touching up a few places where the brown base coat was still showing through. Now I'm going to take some pure white paint and mix up about a 50-50 blend of it and the blue I've been using. I'm going to use this to paint the hot spots of the flame. Basically I want to draw attention to the individual flicks of flame by painting the centers of them where it would be thicker to be a little bit brighter. This can be a little bit tricky due to the 3D nature of these flames because I mean, normal flames are actually transparent and these are obviously solid. So you do need to look at it from a couple different angles and sometimes you just need to make a little compromise and expect that it's not going to look perfect from every possible position. You can see I'm focusing pretty much on the center of each of the licks of flames and leaving the lighter blue around the outside edges. Using a little bit of pure white off the palette, I'm basically going to do the exact same thing and narrow down my focus, making an intense hot spot in the middle of each lick of flame. Some of these are looking a little bit blocky, there's not a very smooth transition to them, so I'm going to circle back with the blue and just kind of feather that out a bit after. Here I'm going back to the original light blue color and just smoothing out some areas where the white hot spots were a little bit too blocky. I want the flames to appear to be casting light on the coffin so that it's a little less of a stark transition. Here I'm making a glaze by mixing roughly equal parts clean water and light blue paint. When mixed properly, the glaze should be roughly the consistency of milk. I'm drying the paintbrush off on a paper towel because I don't really want a lot of fluid on my brush here. If the glaze is too thin, it'll have a tendency to grab into the grooves between the wood planks on the coffin and kind of run along them. Basically, I only want the paint to go where I tell it to, 
and by blotting off the excess liquid on the paper towel, I get a lot more fine control out of the paint. So right now I'm just going around each of the flames and lightly tinting the coffin around them. This helps give the appearance of a cast light and makes the transition between the coffin and the flames a little less stark. Here I'm intentionally running a little bit of the glaze along the groove between two of the planks of wood. I'm doing this so it gives the impression that the flame is coming from inside the coffin and is kind of spilling out in areas. Lastly, I'm going to go over all the flames with the blue glaze, in this case using a GW Gilliman Blue. This is a very thin glaze and it's basically just going to lightly tint the flames and help draw the different colors together. Whenever you use different paints, they're going to have slightly different hues and don't always quite line up together, even if they're designed to be complementary colors. And by glazing them very, very lightly, you sort of bind them together and correct for any of the sort of minor hue differences that different shades of paint may have. I did the same thing in the coffin video with Agrax Earthshade to tie the different shades of brown together. This technique is known as filtering and it's really powerful for making your blends look much smoother than they really are. And with that, the blue flames are done. In the next video, I'm going to paint green flames on a different death marshal. Thanks for watching, and as always, do something epic.